All interferometers detect gravitational waves by measuring the change in distance between two arms as the wave passes through. The longer the arms, the greater the change. With shorter arm lengths, we get smaller length changes. At some point, noise levels will prevent wave detection. Current Earth-based interferometers have arms around 4 kilometers long. That's 2.5 miles. This length limits detector sensitivity to shorter wavelengths. Newer, larger Earth-based interferometers are in design and development. One is the Einstein Telescope. It will be underground with an arm length of 10 kilometers. That's 6.2 miles. Construction could begin as early as 2026 with the goal to start observations in 2035. Another is the Cosmic Explorer. Its design features 40 kilometer arms. That's 25 miles. This length will enable the detection of millions of gravitational waves per year. It is also planned for operation in the 2030s. There is one additional planned project for the 2030s. This one will create an interferometer in space called the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, or LISA for short. It will consist of three spacecraft arranged in a triangular formation that follows the Earth from the L1 Lagrange point. Each arm is 2.5 million kilometers long. That's 1.6 million miles. When gravitational waves pass through the triangle, they will produce oscillations in the lengths of its arms and LISA will capture these changes. This is similar to LIGO, only a million times more sensitive. Here's its estimated coverage area on our sensitivity graph. If all goes well, LISA will provide our first look at signals from supermassive black hole mergers.